Hello and welcome to Breezy Chatter. Today I'm going to be talking about Married at First Sight, Season 14. Episode 9 is Love on the Table. Now I'm just going to be talking about Katina and Elijahwan because that is the couple <laughs> that got a rise out of me uh, last night. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe... Katina and Elijah on at this point. Uh, it's been very clear. We've been watching Katina slowly but surely lose herself trying to please Elijah on. So now we see Katina shopping and she said she's used to shopping for herself and she's accustomed to eating out. Now her husband wants her to cook from scratch and she's at the supermarket worried and hoping that she's bought enough food because if not, she knows she's going to have to hear it from him. And it seems like there's some residual tension from the housewarming that we did not see last week. And they do sort of let us in on this week. Katina does thank Olajuwon for helping her to cut some peaches because she was struggling. And he said, well, did you think I wouldn't help you? And she said, I didn't think so because we're sort of on edge right now. And we've been on edge since last night. And then they roll tape back and they show us how Elijah Wan is talking to Katina. And he's saying to her, you talk about things that don't affect me that I don't give a F about. And then he said, the sugar honey iced tea I ask you for, you can't do. You struggle. And I didn't really hear anything coming from Katina. I just heard Elijah Wan ranting about how she can't satisfy him or she can't get him the things that he needs. Elijah Wan does ask Katina, what does she feel is the definition of a wife? And she said a partner. So Elijah Wan talked further about the night of the housewarming. And he did say that after their guests left, he wanted to clean up and she didn't want to. Uh, what she said to him was that she was just going to do half of the floor. And he said she was complaining about not wanting to clean. So he told her to just go to sleep. And he said, who did the floors for you? He said that to Katina. And I thought that was quite interesting because he said, who did the floors for you? Which means that's your job. I did you a solid. So in his mind, he should not be cleaning. And he definitely should not be having to cook. Elijah Wan goes on further and he says to her, uh, I'm your husband. I'm not your friend. I'm not your boyfriend. And he's showing her the ring and he's telling her she needs to understand what that means. At, even at one point, he told Katina not to roll her eyes because he wasn't talking at her. He was talking to her. But it did sound to me like he was talking at her and he was talking in a very authoritative manner. Almost like a father talking to his 16-year-old daughter who didn't clean. And they show Katina in the confessional. Katina did say that she didn't realize that she could possibly be paired with a man who wasn't satisfied with what she had to bring to the table. Pastor Cal and the experts did give all of the couples the exercise about falling in love and what it takes to fall in love. So that was the question. And Elijah Wan said, it takes devotion to fall in love. And Katina said, loyalty, understanding, patience. And she shared with Elijah Wan that she's more guarded than she may let on. And he said he already knew that. Because it seems to me as if Elijah Wan believes that he already has a general idea of what kind of woman she is. They did read the question, do you think you are beginning to fall in love? So Katina did ask Elijah Wan, and he said, I'll let you go first, which I thought was kind of petty because now whatever answer he gives, you have to sort of question it. If your answer is contingent upon whether you go first or last, it shouldn't matter. Your answer should be the same, right? I thought that was kind of weird. Why did, he, why did she have to go first? She said she felt like there was a potential for her to fall in love with him. And he sort of said, oh, I heard it. I heard it. You love me. And she said, I'm not trying to scare you away. So when you make statements like that, it's almost like saying that you do love him, but you don't want to say it because he might run off. So I don't know why she's saying she doesn't want to scare him away, because that is, to me, that's a desperate statement. And that's not something you want to tell someone that you're in a relationship with. Uh, Elijah Wan answered the question and he said that he likes her. 
And he feels like love is such a strong word that he's not going to say that love is on the table at the moment. He said he does not fall in love easy. He said, and it's not a bad thing because she's her own person. He's his own person. And he says that their connection has to grow and standards have to be met. So if Katina does not learn how to cook and clean, he is never going to fall in love with her. Okay. It's just not going to happen. Katina does say, I know I need to be more open. I need to cook more. I need to clean. And he said, you know, talk is cheap, pretty much. He said he's heard all those things before from other women and he was still waiting. He hasn't seen it yet. So he'll, when he sees it, he'll believe it. So then you have the guys uh, blowing off some steam. They're spending some time together. And Elijah Wan is talking about Katina to the guys. He's saying that it's really tough to be in the position that he's in. He said he doesn't feel like she has any life skills. Or she doesn't put in any effort. He said he doesn't like to go to bed with a dirty place. And he needs support. And he said that if this was under different circumstances, which, which I interpret it to be, if I was not married, I would have walked away. And he even said he was considering taking a break. And the guys, you know, they're listening and, you know, they're trying to be supportive of him. Uh, but it sounds like Elijah one has one foot out the door. So they have a date night. Guess what date they go on? Guess what kind of date they go on? They go to a cooking class. Elijah Wan's talking in the confessional. He's saying that Katina likes seafood. So they took a cooking class where they'd learn how to make different types of seafood. He said he would participate as well because he wants her to put in just as much effort as he's putting in. It almost watching it just reminds me of, you know, when you're a parent and you're showing your child how to do something. So you do it with them so that they feel comfortable doing it. That's what I got from watching the two of them cooking together. And the food looked amazing, it really did. Once the food is prepared, they're sitting there, they're enjoying it. It's Elijah once said if she cooks like this, she'll get three rings from him. And then he said that she hasn't fed him on that type of level since he's met her. I think at that point, she was starting to feel beaten down by him because, and then he goes on to talk about his accomplishments, how he has made some major moves. He is a homeowner. He's paid off all of his student loans. She's still paying off hers and that's fine. She's still learning. So it's almost like he's looking down on her. You know, he's up here and she's down here. So she did ask him, what is it that you're looking for in a wife? And he said he needs to know that his wife has the basics. And then he brought up the housewarming again. And what I also found interesting is how he described the housewarming as his housewarming, not their housewarming. So, so it's really clear that it's all about Elijah Wan and it's all about meeting Elijah Wan's need. And he talked about the housewarming, his housewarming, and how she didn't go get the food, how she had her friends go and get it. And he felt like she didn't put enough effort into things. And of course, she was trying to stick up for herself. She was saying that uh, she had to go shopping and she had to do the decorations. And he didn't want to call her a liar. So what he said was, I know you don't feel comfortable with what you're saying right now. And he was saying that they both did those things together. And he wanted to know what did she do independently to contribute to the housewarming. And he said he needed to see where she was as a woman. And once again, she was starting to feel attacked. And he said, I can't settle with someone who doesn't have the base of being an adult. And then he tries to like sugarcoat it by saying, I care for you so much. And she said, I need a break. And he's like, well, I'm not saying you can't do it. Uh, that's exactly what you're saying. Everything he said he wasn't doing, he was actually doing. He said he wasn't talking at her, he was. He said he wasn't saying that she couldn't do it or she didn't have the potential to do it, but that's pretty much what he was saying. He also did mention something about her not crying and how that's a human emotion. And Katina did bring up how in a past relationship, she was with someone who was verbally abusive towards her and she used to cry about it. And the guy made her feel bad about crying. So after that relationship, she no longer cried in front of people. She would go off, hide and, and cry and let it out. And he's gonna tell her, don't let people 
dictate how you feel. And of course, he just beat her down to a point where she cried in front of him. So I'm watching this and I'm like, I hope he's happy. I hope he's so gratified by watching her cry. I guess now, now, he can, uh, now he can check off that she's human. Now let's see if she can cook and clean to his standards. And what really irks me about Elijah Wan is that all of these hard stops, the cooking, the cleaning, he didn't mention any of those things to the experts because Pastor Cal put him on blast. He said, you did not say anything about the importance of cooking and he's going to look at Pastor Cal and say, oh yes, that's very important. Well, if it was so important, I mean, to a point where you have to make this woman feel like she is less than because she doesn't cook to your standards, she doesn't clean to your standards, that's something you would want to bring up to the experts as a hard stop. And you didn't do that. So if you're frustrated and you're telling the guys that you don't know what you're going to do, you have no one else to blame but yourself, okay? You put yourself in this predicament, okay? And you care so much for Katina. But if you had so much caring for her, you wouldn't be testing her. He's doing things, in my opinion, to test Katina and see if she passes. He told Katina, you don't feel like cleaning? You go to bed. Katina went to bed. He had a fit. If you wanted her to help you, why would you tell her to go to bed? That was a test. She failed, obviously. She was supposed to say, oh no, honey, let's do the cleaning together. Or better yet, why don't you go to bed and I'll do all the cleaning. And Katina needs to do a better job of defending herself. She never said, well, why are you complaining about this now? You said it was okay that I could just go to bed. And now you're using the fact that I went to bed against me. He is going to bulldoze over her. She better find her backbone quickly because he is ruthless. This girl was sitting there crying and he didn't offer her any compassion. He was just looking at her. And then we see scenes coming up for next week and she's going to be talking to the experts. It looks like Dr. Viviana. And she's going to be saying that she feels like he is just attacking her and she's crying. And he's sitting there like, well, are we done? <laughs> he doesn't look moved by anything that's going on. Of course, you know, we'll have to see next week what really happens or how the conversation goes. You know, maybe he does offer her some support, but from what we could see in the previews, he's not offering her anything. So I'm looking forward to next week. What I'm really looking forward to is what kind of advice Dr. Viviana is going to offer the two of them. I do still believe that Katina and Elijah Wan are going to remain together because Katina is, like I said, very agreeable. She wants this to work. She wants to be with him and she's going to do whatever she can to make him happy. And I think that's the kind of woman that he wants at the end of the day. Someone who's going to change themselves for him. You know that song by Sybil, Don't Make Me Over? Elijah Wan is going to make Katina over to the woman that he wants her to be. And they are going to stay married. You guys tell me what you think. Do you think Katina and Elijah Wan are going to stay married? Let me know in the comments. That is my commentary. If you liked it, hit like, subscribe, and leave comments. Thank you for your time. Until next time, ta-ta.